Tired of cockroaches and ants in your home? We've got the solution for you. Today we're tackling the common problem of pest infestation, and we're going to show you how to do it in a quick, easy and environmentally friendly way. No more need for expensive pest control services or harmful chemicals. All you need is a vacuum cleaner and a little bit of time. So get your vacuum ready and stay tuned as we guide you through this quick and effective method. The first step is to identify the areas where you've noticed the cockroaches and ants. Now, these critters are quite the explorers, but they do have their favorite hideouts. Kitchens and bathrooms are often their go-to spots, thanks to the abundance of food, water, and hiding places. They also love to sneak in and out through entry points like doors or windows, so don't overlook these areas. But how do you identify an infested area? Look for signs such as droppings, egg cases, or even the pests themselves if you're lucky, or rather, unlucky. You might also spot smudge marks or an unusual odor, which are telltale signs of a roach infestation. These clues will help you pinpoint the areas that need your attention. Once you've identified these areas, you're ready for the next step. Remember, knowing your enemy's location is half the battle won. So let's get ready to reclaim your home from these unwelcome guests. Now, it's time to assemble your tools. This method of pest control is as simple as it gets. All you need is a vacuum cleaner with a hose attachment, a handy tool that most of us already have at home. The hose will allow you to reach into those hard to access corners and crevices where pests love to hide. In addition to the vacuum, you'll need a plastic bag, this will be used to seal off the vacuum bag once you've finished the job. This step is crucial to ensure that those pesky pests don't escape and make their way back into your home. So take your vacuum cleaner, make sure it's in good working order, and that the bag inside is empty. Attach the hose and make sure it's secure. Have your plastic bag ready to go. With your vacuum ready, it's time to start the extraction process. The third step involves the actual vacuuming technique. This might seem like the simplest part of the process, but there's a bit more to it than you might think. You see, these little critters are experts at hiding in hard-to-reach places. That's why the vacuum cleaner's hose attachment is your best friend in this situation. Begin by pointing the nozzle of the vacuum hose into the corners of your rooms. Cockroaches and ants are notorious for setting up camp in these concealed spots. The suction from the vacuum will pull them out of their hidey holes and into the vacuum bag. But don't stop at corners. Sweep the nozzle along the baseboards where these pests often scuttle along unnoticed. Remember to also target any cracks or crevices in your walls or floors. These are prime real estate for cockroaches and ants, so don't let them keep their comfy homes. Now let's talk about technique. It's not enough to just wave the vacuum nozzle around. You want to move it slowly and deliberately to make sure you're not missing any spots. Think of it as a meticulous search and rescue operation, but in this case, you're not looking to rescue anyone. Keep in mind this isn't a one and done kind of deal. You'll need to repeat this process in all the infested areas you've identified earlier. Patience is key here. It might take a little time, but trust me, the payoff is worth it. Also, remember to keep an eye on your vacuum bag. If it's getting full, change it out for a new one. You don't want it bursting mid-operation, sending all those captured pests scattering back into your home. After a thorough vacuuming, it's time to safely dispose of the bag, but we'll get into that in our next step. For now, give yourself a pat on the back. You're well on your way to a pest-free home. The fourth step is crucial, disposing of the vacuum bag safely. Now you might be wondering why this is so important. Well, it's simple. The vacuum bag now contains all the pests you've managed to suck up. If not handled properly, these critters can escape and find their way back into your home. And that's the last thing you want after all your hard work. So how do you dispose of the vacuum bag safely? Well, let me walk you through it. The moment you finish vacuuming, you need to remove the bag from the vacuum. Be careful not to jostle it too much. You don't want to risk any of the critters escaping. Once you've removed the bag, immediately place it inside a plastic bag. This creates a second barrier that helps ensure none of the pests escape. Seal the plastic bag tightly. You can use a tie or a knot, but make sure it's secure. Now here's a crucial part. Don't just toss the sealed bag in your indoor trash can. Take it outside and deposit it in an outdoor bin straight away. The reason for this is twofold. First, it gets the bag out of your living space. Second, even if any pests do manage to escape from the bag, they'll be outside your home, not inside. Remember, the goal here is to get rid of these pests, not just move them around your house. That's why it's so important to dispose of the bag properly and immediately. This step might seem simple, 
but it's vital in ensuring your home stays pest free. And one more thing, if you're using a vacuum with a reusable bag, make sure to clean it thoroughly before using it again. You don't want to risk any remaining pests finding their way back into your home. With the bag disposed of, it's time for the final step. The final step is to clean your vacuum and prevent future infestations. Cleaning your vacuum is crucial. You wouldn't want to leave any lingering pests inside, would you? Start by unplugging your vacuum and removing the hose attachment. Use a damp cloth to wipe down the exterior and the hose. For the interior, use a long brush to reach those hard-to-clean areas. Remember, thoroughness is key here, so take your time and make sure every corner is clean. Now, let's address the vacuum bag. If it's reusable, empty it outside, then wash it with warm water and a mild detergent. Let it dry completely before putting it back. If it's a one-time use bag, just dispose of it as previously mentioned and replace it with a fresh one. With your vacuum cleaned and ready for its next use, we turn our attention to prevention. It's great to clean up a pest problem, but it's even better to prevent one from happening in the first place. There are a few natural deterrents you can use to keep these unwelcome guests at bay. First up is diatomaceous earth, a non-toxic powder made from fossilized aquatic organisms. Sprinkle it in areas where you've seen pests. It's harmless to humans and pets, but deadly to insects. Next is boric acid, another natural pest deterrent. Mix it with equal parts sugar and flour to create a homemade bait. The pests will be drawn to the sweet and starchy mixture, but the boric acid will eliminate them. Keep in mind, these deterrents are best used in areas where pets and children can't reach. Safety first, always. Remember, the key to a pest-free home is persistence. Regular cleaning, proper food storage, and sealing entry points are all part of an effective prevention strategy. And that's how you can vacuum out cockroaches and ants in just a few simple steps. It's quick, it's easy, and best of all, it doesn't involve any harsh chemicals. Now you're armed with the knowledge to take control of your space and keep it pest-free. And there you have it, a quick and efficient way to vacuum out cockroaches and ants. We've taken you through a simple five-step process that anyone can follow. To recap, we first identified the infested areas, which are usually in kitchens, bathrooms, and entry points. We then assembled our tools, primarily a vacuum cleaner with a hose attachment and a plastic bag. The vacuuming technique we demonstrated involved using the hose to reach into corners and crevices and along baseboards where these pests are likely to hide. After vacuuming, we emphasized the importance of disposing of the vacuum bag immediately in an outdoor bin, sealing it in a plastic bag to prevent any escapees. The vacuum cleaner was then thoroughly cleaned to ensure no pests remained inside. And finally, we discussed preventative measures recommending the use of pest deterrents such as diatomaceous earth or boric acid in the areas previously infested. Remember, it's not just about getting rid of the pests, but also about preventing them from returning. This method is not only quick and easy, it's also a healthier option for your home, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. With consistency and vigilance, you can maintain a pest-free living space. So here's to a cleaner, healthier home, free from unwanted guests. Thanks for watching and happy pest-free living.